Now, here are the bees from the removal yesterday. And uh, since they were queenless, I'm combining them with this little colony that, um, well, they had a tiny queen last I checked. I checked in there today and they're pulling queen cells. So I think they replaced her, which is good because she was a dinky little thing. And so she did exactly what they normally do. Uh, she basically ran the colony long enough to get them some eggs and some support to where they could raise a new queen and replace her. So I didn't see her, but I saw plenty of queen cells, so it'll do just fine. Um, so I combined the two, but this colony that I removed was real, real heavy in drones. And I don't want all those drones, and I also, of course, need this to be a slow, uh, you know, gradual introduction combination. So what I've done is the vac box is in the bottom nuke box there. And they have an entrance reducer on, or an entrance disc, set to a queen excluder. Then you have your newspaper and another queen excluder, and then your top entrance is your main entrance to the original colony. And so what this should hopefully do is segregate a lot of those drones and keep them trapped in the bottom box. And I know that might sound bad that I'm going to kill all those drones, but that colony was really, really heavy in drones. And that's a lot of freeloaders for a little colony like this that does not need that sort of um, burden. So I'm going to leave it set up like this. I checked it this morning and made sure that they, they were getting out of the back box just fine, which they were. Um, and so I'm going to leave it set up like this for about a week or more. And then hopefully when I open it back up, I'll find a whole bunch of dead drones in the bottom down there in the back box. And up top, I'll find me a good booming strong colony. Uh, maybe with a newly emerged queen out of that queen cell. We shall see. But just want to show you how I was setting that up, how I handled, you know, a queenless colony. And that's the other thing. If they did have a queen by chance with them that I just missed, she will also be trapped down below because of the uh, dual queen excluder setup. So um, either way, it should work just fine to bolster this little colony, but I'm pretty sure they were queenless, so I think I'm doing it right.